here we are, the Match Factory podcast. Not at the Match Factory. From Crane's Backyard again. <laughs> My name's B. I'm the owner. And I'm Crane. I work at the store. So, look at this beautiful view again. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's ever changing. Absolutely. We were just discussing how long we're going to keep doing this inside. Like, uh, we're going to get to layer the dits on. Oh, uh, yeah. Shawls and sweaters. And tubes. Mittens. <laughs> Maybe there will be snow blowing. <laughs> than via chat. Yeah, yeah, this is way better. Absolutely. Much better to get to see somebody yeah, in person. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, how are things going? Things are good. Yeah. Things are good. What to tell you about? What's new at the store? This is new at the store. This. <laughs> Yarns are sort of starting to trickle in for fall, which is mm -hmm. super nice. Yes, this yes. is the cocoa. Cocoa. So you saw this sweater oh, partially oh, done? Yes. And uh, yeah, the, it's the Perham sweater. And this is a size small. It's lovely. I would definitely wear this. Yeah, you know what? I should double check my gauge now. That it's, oh, now it's done. Yeah. yeah, that it's washed and everything. Yeah. I suspect it has stretched. Because I don't think that's a size small. No. You normally wear like a medium. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, medium large. Depends. And it fits perfect. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. And it's a little like a little oversized here. Like it's got like a nice... It's not too tight. Yeah, it's like, like a stra lovely. straight cut. I like this big sleeve, right? Like yes, the sleeve has no shaping. Like, it comes yeah. out square and then yeah, straight into the sleeve. There's like no decreases. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's nice. You, I could definitely wear like a long sleeve underneath it, but the yarn is so soft, I don't think I would have to. It's just yeah. lovely. Yeah. You don't have to wear a barrier, but it would be. No. You could cozy it up. And yeah, it if you wanted to. Layer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I got that done. Yay! Hi. Nice FO. That's new. Yeah, and this yarn is beautiful. And this was the yarn that you guys used for the hats last year. Like yes, last year we did the perky little hat. I think yes. We did, even did a couple Saturday afternoon like drop-in courses on it to get mm -hmm. people. And you can make the perky little hat in like an hour. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Maybe two hours, but it was fabulous. Yeah. So of course. that's still in the store too if you want to see it. Yes, it's got a nice little detail around the program. <laughs> Very pretty. Pardon me. Yeah. yeah. What else is new? What other? I have things done? lined up. I also, we got more of the amplifier. Oh! So this is another super bulky yarn. Actually, this feels like it's still slightly damp. It walking. is a little damp. <laughs> uh, super Ooh. bulky yarn, in, and it's acrylic. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, this is a little bit more maple. That's cute. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. So I got both of these hats out of one ball of yarn. Yeah. Plus there's extras I'm going to make pom poms. Oh, but, like, nice. literally they're still wet. I just popped them. I like. So this is called... Can I keep my hair? Absolutely. I feel like... It looks better with... My hair looks better with it on. <laughs> Simply super bulky hat. Nice. Nice little free pattern. Three sizes. This is the largest size. Yeah. And this is the same pattern. Okay. So I knit that one. That's how the pattern's written. Okay. And Without then a I, folded brim. Yeah. And I had piles of yarn left. So mm -hmm. I did just a really big... Deep, deep ribbing, and then I did the same hat. Is this self striping yarn? Yes. Oh, okay. So it's doing all gotcha. that on its own. Uh -huh, nice. And there's like uh, six colors. Okay. I should have oh. brought some of the colors. I never thought. Oh, well. Yeah, really nice stuff. Stop into the store and see. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, again, if you want a nice quick hat, we had to drive to Timmins last week, and I knit that on the way home. Oh, wow. Like the whole thing. The yeah. whole hat in one trip to Timmins. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's like a Northern Ontario thing. It's like, yeah, well, yeah. in one trip to Timmins, I knit a hat. <laughs> is this like a drive to Toronto kind of situation or a drive to Timmins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How Timmins much? from Englehart, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Not even from Western people. That is <laughs> impressive. Yeah, we talk in hours of driving. Not yeah. Distance. yeah, it's so true. Yeah. Home is seven and a half hours. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And... We have a finished object alike. Yes. Okay. So Remember, same thing. You need to look away if you're into the gnomes. I tell other things at the end though, but I think what, I think the gnome secret's out. Like yeah. the, the knit along ended to, today. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is September. the end of the like. Well, you have today to post your stuff. September first, yes. knit along. Stuff. Exactly. So yeah. we're gonna show a gnome. If you don't want to see a gnome, look away. Yeah. Okay. Here's the gnome. Okay. You show your gnome first. <laughs> So cute! Oh, he's. Does it have a name? I've just been calling him Nikki. Nikki is the name. I believe she yeah. is a Nikki. Yeah. That is the pattern name. Super cute. Oh Let's my god. Let's see yours. Okay. This is mine. <laughs> this is Gloria. Gloria. 
that's awesome. <laughs> Gloria the gnome. Yes. Um, oh, my, this is perfect. I love this. Yeah. My swizzle, what do you want to call it? Spiral, if you will, uh, started to come undone after somebody had been playing with it. <laughs> so I opted to not have the spiral. Also, because I kind of like the eye, showing off the eye cord. I think it's really pretty. I love the shape of it. Yeah. And it kind of did this all on its own. So yeah, I just, I just fastened the end of it and then, um, yeah. So cute. So cute. Really love these guys. So these are your gnomes. So if you made a gnome, we're posting this tomorrow, September 2nd. No, September 1st. September 1st, sorry. Tomorrow. Is that? That is the end. It's, that is the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So hopefully you've posted your pictures, you've shared your Instagram, you've yeah. tagged your stuff, yeah. and there'll be prizes. Yeah, I'm excited to see who wins the prize. Yeah. Also, no. check out each of our gnomes on uh, Ravelry. Ravelry. Yeah. Because this. I have never photo tutorialed like I photo tutorialed for this snow. It was really fun. So, in fact, video tutorial because if you go like the video where we a uh, YouTube page where we post this, yeah, I actually posted a tutorial of how to post the picture of your Nikki on the forums yep. on Ravelry to be entered in the draw. Yeah, which was very well done. I really loved that you. tutorial. Really I good. used the tutorial to post my photo of my gnome. <laughs> I've never done that before. It yeah. worked like a charm. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What did you use for your bottom to... I have a covered doorknob in there. Nice. <laughs> I use some chain because that's all I had in my basement. So if you haven't heard this story, a uh, little bit of a, I don't know what you call it, a uh, shot from left field. I didn't realize that the gnomes were supposed to have a weighted pellet in the base. Mm -hmm. Like I weight all my toys though, but I didn't know, I actually didn't know weighted pellets were a thing. You could get it. It's a stuffing yeah. that's a plastic bead that's heavy. So yeah. when you put it in your in your guy, it'll hold them up. Mm. There's some on order. There'll be some on the store soon. I, I mm -hmm. learned something new. Yeah. But in the meantime, a lot of us are doing something creative, like putting covered doorknobs. Yes. Or chain. Yeah. Like it was like like okay. little fine chain. Oh, yeah. Not that. Not not that. Different. Oh yeah. No, not that different. Yours is though. It's you can really feel it in there. Yeah. You can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine just kind of jingles around in the bottom. <laughs> So cute! Yay! Gnome's done. Ta -da. Awesome. Oh, I didn't realize it spirals hanging to the front. Yes. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That even makes it better. Yeah, intentionally to the front. Yeah. Hi, Bruce. This <laughs> isn't for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? My spiral was really <clears throat> hanging the wrong way. It was really trying to go left, and I wanted it to go right, and so it just does not That's why thing, it pulled really. out. Yeah, that's why it, uh, yeah. That's why it does this. And you chose your own colors, and this was one of the kits from yes. Ancient yeah. Arts. Yeah, um, I had a little debacle with the, the green here. Mine was supposed to be that red Syrah uh, by Moonlight. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I yeah, went with the green. Yeah, it's a lot more fresh, very garden gnome. My yeah. Gloria is a garden gnome. Um, yeah, I'm really happy I chose it. Because it's also in other colors that are in the... The, yeah, the green is all the way through. It looks yeah. great. Yeah. yeah See, if you didn't rat yourself out, you'd never know that it wasn't a second choice. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. I really, I, the red was really terrible. Please, look at my Ravelry page and you can <laughs> tell me that it was really not the right color. And mystery needle-ons are hard. It was right? hard. Especially when you're picking your own colors too, right? Yeah. It's kind of, There is definitely an element of questioning yourself when yeah. it's your own color choices. And I tried it, I messed it up twice, so... <laughs> It was supposed to be red and the yellow and then red and this pink and it just wasn't. I did the pink and then I did the yellow and yeah, it was both were terrible. So yeah, I'm really glad it's changed now. So, so yeah. what else are you working on? Nothing. Well, I mean, I have, I'm still working, <coughs> still, folks, still working on this cowl. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No. Oh, it's great. You guys have seen it pretty much at the same spot. We're you very close. To, yeah. I had to set it aside for the gnome. I have very limited knitting time right now, um, and so sometimes things get set aside. But I'm really happy with it. I cannot wait to finish this, and um, you're gonna have it done just in time for cooler weather when you want to yeah. wear it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm on the second part of the second last repeat. So I'm second part there. of the second last year. That's almost yeah. the end. Yeah, exactly. Really, <laughs> it's almost the end. In minutes, speak, it's almost the end. Yeah, exactly. I'm almost done. And my uh, work in progress you have seen as well yes. many times. This is the hug shot. How is it going? It's fine. It's coming along. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Yep. 
Yep, this is does. the the dogs come and visit us podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have one sitting on my feet right now. Really uh, yeah, so it's come along just fine. It looks beautiful. I almost wish that my colors had a higher contrast, though. Yeah, like when you hold that up to the camera, you just see a variegated. There's like yeah, it's not like the balls are. But it's amazing how the balls really look quite different, and yeah. then when you put them in something like this, really not that different. Like, no. Like, well, they blend really. They do. Very pretty, though. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. It's pretty. Absolutely. It's, uh, that would be my only critique of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I mean, honestly, too, if you may breathe and hope this is a little bit repetitive, it's the same sort of thing. Right, yeah. Like, it's all those textured stitches, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. Nothing horribly difficult, and it's nice and relaxing, good TV knitting. Yeah. Except for where I looked at the wrong page of the pattern and I thought I did it wrong and then so I ripped out 12 rows and then I couldn't figure out where I was because I was still looking at the wrong page of the pattern. So I set it aside and a couple days I went back to it and then I looked and I'm like, oh, so if I flip that over it all makes sense. Yeah. The yeah. worst. You nipped out, ripped out knitting for no reason. For no reason. Yeah, that's worse. That's worse than oh, knitting and making man. a mistake. I'm an intelligent <laughs> person, really. Uh, yeah. Wrong page. Wrong page. Like, because the big pencil lines where you're done, yeah. that's an indicator? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, Sometimes. guys, if, learn from these mistakes. <laughs> if you are having difficulty and maybe think that you're finding it challenging for no apparent reason, Maybe you're on the wrong page. <laughs> Maybe Who you're knows? on the wrong section of the pattern. Yeah. It happens. It happens. And what's this lovely Oh, here? yeah. There's another couple of new yarns Ooh. in stock. This is Funny Feet. You haven't seen this yet, no. have you? No. So Funny Feet is from James C. Brett. It's uh, a self-patterning kind of jacquard type. I think I have six colors of it in Ooh. stock. It's very pretty. And I believe the best part about it is the price point is $12.99 a ball. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the uh, fiber content? 50% Probably mid 25% bamboo. Ooh, it does give it a nice softness. Yeah. Oh, yes. It yes. is nice. I love this periwinkle yeah. kind of color. Yeah. Look at that. Very pretty. So, yeah. Uh, funny feet with bamboo. I should have said that. Mm. Yeah. Bamboo. Lovely. Yeah, so I think this would be a really nice transition sock here on through to yes. you know, Into the colder weather. Yeah, 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 exactly. I think it's here. <laughs> I am hopeful that we are just going to get a few weeks in September, basically a week right around when the fall fair usually is, of beautiful weather. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Hey, Putting speaking of fall fair, have you seen the post online? Um, both oh, yeah. Englehart and Ulysses Group have announced how they're doing their virtual fall fair. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And what's the kind of process? Um, both of them are very similar, although there's different things you enter. That uh, Neil Screen wants a video, Englehearts wants pictures or videos emailed in. Uh, Englehart has, I think, three knitting items, three crochet items. I mean, all the rest of the stuff, but that's all yeah. I memorized. Yeah. Uh, Neil Screen only has one knitted item. Ooh. Wow, you really have to be like, this is my item. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they want a 30 second video sent in. You're agreeing that it's going to be shared on social media, and the winner in Ulysses will be chosen by Facebook likes. Oh wow! Yeah, lovely. Which is a different way to do it. I yeah. had no idea. I don't. I'm not sure what Englehart is doing for their t like how they did. Deciding. They didn't say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So um, I have linked both of those on the Facebook page if you want to check them out. Awesome. But you can also find them with an easy Google. Neil Screen has a great website. Um, Englehart. I use their Facebook page. If you're not on Facebook, I'm not quite sure about their web page status, mm -hmm. but it's out there. Lovely. Yeah. Awesome. And what are you wearing today, by the way? This little. Best. It's a vest. It's beautiful. Thank I mean, you. like, what pattern is it? Tell me I more don't about remember. it. Remember? Okay. This is um quite a few years old. It was a. I can tell you all about it. It's a alpaca blend cotton from Roco, uh -huh. and it was white. And I should never knit in white. I think it had a chocolate stain from the car before it was even knit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So after it was a sample, and I hit the chocolate stain in the store for a little while, it sat around at home, and I yeah. was gonna get rid of it because it yeah. was white. white with the chocolate stain. Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's my life. Threw it in the sink with some blue dye, and I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It looks like that. Uh, yarn that we had the tape yarn kind of tahiti something yeah it looks beautiful it yeah and look at it. i was sewing today there's some great new bags in the store <gasps> oh, um yeah i love it I, I really do love it but um i just i don't get with white yeah so oh, no take another note don't <laughs> knit in white <laughs> my life does no not, yeah, yeah my life neither no, yeah. i'm not a white life 
Exactly. Lots of yep. people are. Yeah. That's great. I'm Those very people. impressed with your ability not to get food on your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> or get the stain out when you do inevitably yeah. get something on it. So. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. the goal. Yeah. Exactly. On that note, we're rambling. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Nice to see you. Bye.